that boom. Drop 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 that boom. You'll never believe who this is. Well, I know who it is. I'm looking right at him right now. Back it up, check, check it up, Gun country boy, real tough, backwoods, hometown, lit life, lock it up. Lick life, there you go. <laughs> we got Lizard Lick in the studio. Ronnie and Amy are here today. This is where you guys talk into the microphone and say, hey, what's up, y'all? They're on their headphones. She, Amy's in Bob's seat, and of course his headphones don't work. Yeah. <laughs> Good gracious, I know. Here, you want to trade out? We don't need them. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's just the size of that head. <laughs> oh, don't get in trouble. <laughs> so Lizard Glick's here today because Ronnie is now doing music, and Amy texted me. She said, you're not going to believe it. This is some good stuff. And I was like, okay, okay, I'll listen. Next thing you know, I'm in the living room dancing. and I'm like, drop that boom. Because <laughs> it's kind of like a Colt <laughs> Ford feel, and I really like Colt Ford. Uh-huh. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I like it. I'm really. What made you want to do this? Uh, you know, I've always been a big poetry buff, and uh, every time I sing, I see the you know, I see the buzzers running off the gut barrel because I can't sing too good. But uh, yeah. since I'm a big poetry buff, I'm a big Colt fan and the Lax, Cowboy Troy, mm-hmm. Bubba Sparks. And so uh, I had DJ Silver came to me and said, hey, Bo, let's sit down and drop some tracks. And I was like, all right, let's do it. Drop just, some tracks. That's yeah. Peanut Butter's new word is drop. Yeah, I said, just to make my, because I'm not cool and I wanted to sound cooler. And I see all, hey, I'm dropping my new album. I'm dropping my new thing. And so I'm dropping a new blog post later today. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can drop anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can drop Can it. I drop you, Ronnie? I'm about, I'm about to drop a deuce here in just a few minutes. Oh. Just so you know. so See you what's now. been going on with you guys? I have lots of questions as far as what's going on with Lizard Lick. Like, for instance, what's up with Bobby? Yeah. Like, is he part of the show now? Is he not? Yeah, you know, Bobby's... Uh, Thinking about dropping. Yeah. 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 Bobby's, uh, Bobby's, right now, Bobby's doing his own thing. Um, he's kind of started his own business, and he's doing real good, and... He's dating Cassie off the show, and uh, they're doing real good. And so um, I'm real excited for him. He uh, He's venturing out and got some great things happening. So. Okay, he's lost so a lot of weight, too, right? Because yeah, I saw him on yeah. like, a shirtless picture, and I was like, oh. Oh, you haven't seen his video in his red drawers? No. Oh, oh my God. Oh, the underwear cool. king. Wait, there's an underwear fit? Why? Oh, and there's a, a birthday party thing, too. So I was invited to a birthday party, but then I was like, is this like an open house to sell his house or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's no telling with Bobby what he's selling. <laughs> oh. You know, they got they got that show, uh, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, and then we're pulling our side, you know, Lifestyles of the Broken Redneck. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so why is he doing underwear videos? Uh, he's he's doing Who knows? This is Bobby Brantley. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing some meet and greet for some hillbilly. In his underwear meet and greet? Uh, you know Bobby. Oh. Bobby's very proud of Bobby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, know, mean, we know a Bobby like that. <laughs> <laughs> if Bob Dumas did an underwear meet and greet, I think I would die. You know he would do it, but it would be like a, a Easter bunny, like, tail <laughs> thing or something. So... Um, and then what's going on with the show? Are you guys in filming right now? When's everything? Yeah, we're actually filming right now, and our new season comes out, I think they said May 26th. May 26th. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How many seasons is this now? This is our, this will be our fifth, but that's just the 10th, because they order like half a, they order 13, then they order 13 more. And that's considered one season, but us, that's like two seasons. Did yeah. you ever know that it would be this successful when y'all started? I don't think so. I mean, you know, we, right now we just go out there, have a good time, try to laugh about it, and try not to argue with each other. So yep. y'all beating the curse. You know about the reality TV show Marriage Knock on Curse, wood. like the Jessica Simpson. It's yeah. like the three-year rule well, we're that not a really, marriage breaks up. We're not really married. No, he's what? just my TV husband. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? So how do you guys explain that? You guys can make it and no one else seems to be able to. Well, I got one of the few wives that could beat me like an Indian drum on a wedding night, so I just keep my mouth shut. Yeah. <laughs> he learned early in the relationship. How do you put up with Two wrongs don't make right. But do you think there's a difference between the South and like Hollywood and the South that you still keep it real? And yes. so that's the difference between this and then Hollywood, Jessica and Nick, you know. Yeah. They're living in these huge mansions and all these celebrities carting them around and Well, you know. me and Ronnie went through the rough part of our our relationship when we first got together. And TV is nothing compared to that. (laughs) Hey, how do you get through the rough part, by the way? Just because, like, engagement-wise, you know, we started arguing, and I'm already living in his house. So it's like, whoa, is this what this is all about? You know? I I tell you what, you pack your bags one time and leave for about two weeks, and he'll come back. (laughs) That's what Bob said, dude. He said, leave and and don't call. 
all of them. That's works. right. That's it what works. He said. It works. I tell you, you, you show him what he's missing, and yeah. he will want it back. That could work against I you. I've that. noticed that. <laughs> I packed my bag several times, and they're like, "Yeah, stay gone." Yeah. <laughs> but you cheated on me. I don't care. Just don't come back. I Damn tell it. you, I tell you, Erica. The only advice I can give you is if you ever argue, don't argue about money. If you argue about anything but money, it's okay. When you start arguing about money, life changes. Yeah, so, so far, no money yep. issues, but that's because I have mine and he has his. I mean, we're together, but, like, yep. I'm, I'm not a bimbo. I make my own money and buy <laughs> my own shoes, so. So everybody who does a reality show always, you know, breaks off into something else. You know, you got Skinny Girl from the Super Housewives of oh, New Bethany Jersey Franklin or whatever. Oh, Bethany does the Skinny Girl uh, vodka line and, and the margaritas. You know, you guys are, are doing the, the, the songs and, and the music and stuff and like that. And energy drinks. And books. Yeah, right. Well, I've got another book coming out. Yep, I'm getting ready to do a gluten free cookbook. Should be out around Christmas time because all my food allergies. My oh, mom's really? gonna be buying oh, it. Elizabeth Hasselbeck has a book on that. I love her. Yeah. Well, the way that the twist that we have on this is it's uh, meals you can do within like 30 minutes, right. oh, that's and good. it's actually Southern meals that we've altered uh, to make gluten free, just that's because. Good. I don't have time to spend three hours no. cooking make, a meal yeah. for my kids. You ever make any cauliflower rice? Cauliflower rice, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I just found that out the other day. I was like, this He's actually supposed- tastes like rice. Yes. <laughs> He's supposed to be making us a gluten-free pizza, but we haven't seen it yeah, yet. Yeah, so. I'm going to make a pizza crust out of the yeah. thing. So they're not that bad. They're, yeah. they're, they're yeah. pretty good, and I do a thing with cabbage and put hot sauce on it and bake it. Oh, amazing. Oh, snap. And all of our... You know, we have a, um, I just, I figured this out that like my um, Pops uh, Southwestern barbecue sauce is gluten free. Oh, and so I good. can put it on there and bake it. So you're going to bring cool. us some samples when this book comes out? I will out? do that. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And bring the I food will. with it. Don't just bring the book. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, where can people go to get this, uh, this fabulous music? It'll uh, it'll be on iTunes tomorrow. You can download it. You can go to our website, lizardlicktone.com. It it releases at twelve oh one. Uh, I guess you can say tonight, but it drops. Yeah, it, it drops. drops. It yeah, it'll, it'll drop. Yeah. And you did a song for Amy too, which you wrote these, you know, mm-hmm. with silver and stuff. But yep. it's about Amy being the best. Yep, this had, that had uh, that's uh, good as it gets. With uh, low cash cowboys actually came in and sang on that and. Uh, that's the one when I got a truck down there from my DEO, and that's all we pump in it now. So every time Amy gets in, I got to play a song about her. So now I got to live with her and listen about her. <laughs> well, you know it's going to be a number one because it's about me. <laughs> hey, is it appropriate for kids and everything and eat, no cursing yeah, no, and all that stuff? No cursing okay. in any of my songs. I think the worst thing we talk about is moonshine. All and right. if you're from the South and you're probably 10 years old, you probably have moonshine anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> and you got one that's stay true and it's about God and stuff. So you have yeah. a mix of everything in yeah, it. And that's got. What, uh, is, uh, what is this one? She, she's good. Is that's that a good one? Yeah, that's Amy. Yeah, that She's good as it gets. Yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me give you a little bit of mm-hmm. here. Washing the blood, she's a backwoods babe, baptized in the mud. Need directions in life? Why don't you just ask her? She'll show you how to bail hay while driving a tractor. Sets a truck line, cold skin a buck, tune up a carburetor, pop the hood on a truck. She'll be riding four wheelers right through the creek. Ain't scared to get dirty any day of the week. I love the way she looks, plus the way she talks. A hot southern bell, shake it when she walks, and she gives me good feelings I've never felt. She's from the buckle of the Bible Belt. She's sweet as honey. Swings like a southpaw queen of the dirt road. Fights like an outlaw. Yeah. <laughs> She's what you... Can I tell you, I want to take the top off of the Jeep and drive to the beach. We're like, she's as good as it gets. That's right, yeah. Boston. Woo! <laughs> good stuff, man. Just, I like it. So any money that song earns goes to Amy so she can get clothes and stuff, right? What have you been smoking this morning, girl? <laughs> Early this morning. Well, she, I, I have to say, we're building a house right now, so uh, all my funds are drained. <laughs> it's like going towards my house. I don't know that I call that a house, but yeah, it's a little. I think we're the only people in the world that build a, a house smaller than the one we live in. It's like a twelve. That's <laughs> like, okay. It's full down, love. We build something new, but we downsize. I ain't figured that out. That's okay yet. though. Y'all gonna get older one day, and you'll yeah. appreciate the downsize. So we just want to, to move out. We just want to move way out in the sticks, and that's what we did. Yeah, good for y'all. Yeah. So like for the kids. The first time I ever heard of Lizard Lick, you know, the actual area, the town and stuff like that, I was in college back 
94, and a friend of mine was from there. And I'm from Lizard Lick. I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> He's like, yeah, man, you, you Lizard Lick toe and all that stuff like that. <laughs> Yeah. It's fun. You can go to your shop, you know, and go to the, oh, we have the gift time, store man. and stuff. We love yeah. when the kids come down. Yeah. yeah. I was out there for baby. Earth Day planting trees at the gift oh, shop, Lord. and I had all the kids are on spring break. So yeah. we had like an influx of fans come in, and we were over there planting, and it was great. Good. We were getting our hands dirty, Ronnie, something you don't know anything about. <laughs> I can tell you this. Last time I seen you with animals, a dog bitch, and he died, I give the trees 10 days. <laughs> I'm just really? Saying, yeah, you yeah. ain't died yet, have you? <laughs> I ain't. It's going to be a fight. It just oh, got okay. real. <laughs> Here's your reality TV marriage. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. More with Lizard Lick Towing here in just a few minutes on Bob and the Showground. Hang hey. on. G105, it's Bob and the Showground. Bobby's still on the mend, y'all. So He'll be back. your prayers and everything like that. Amy's in a seat from Lizard Lick today. I know. I'm in the hot seat. You need to fart in it and leave it there for him for when he comes back. <laughs> Ronnie and Amy are here from Lizard Lick, obviously, and they've got, man, they're just delving into all kinds of things. We've got books, we've got TV shows, now we got stuff dropping. <laughs> it's dropping. My mom texts me. She's like, I love it. Because they love that whole, the, that's our thing, you know, it's my family. <laughs> she was like, I love it. <laughs> so, good. Did you think that uh, you would be doing, like, that type of music? Is that the stuff that you listen to and that's the kind of stuff you want to do? Yeah, that's that's actually probably all. I mean, that's that's 90% of what I listen to is, uh is you know, I'm, I'm really inspired, like we said, by Colt. Bubba, I've all, man, I've been a Bubba Sparks fan yeah. since I can count. Bubba and then, Sparks, Bubba booty, Sparks. booty, booty, yeah. booty, booty. booty. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all haven't listened to the Lax. Oh, my God. Yeah, the I like the Lax Boys. Is it yeah, Lax Boys, yeah, right? The, yeah. The, the, and they, just groups like that because, you know, it's it's. I love it because you can tell a story. Right. And you can talk about more than just what's happening and, and do it in ways where people can relate to it. So, yeah. you know. And I figured out if it's got a good beat and, and a good melody and stuff like that, and you got to have the breakdown, too. I don't forget the breakdown. It, it was funny because on Drop That Boom, I wrote it because, like, on the record, you drop the boom. And then we said, oh, that's cool. You can drop the boom on the bass. Da -da -da -da. Well, as soon as I pre-released a song last week, our first video I got was Seven Women Twerking. <laughs> Do you do twerking? Are y'all uh, going to twerk in the video? I Girl, I think you got a better chance of winning a lottery without a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> so is this just like, this is a one-time deal, or you're thinking about making this, you know, something for the long haul? You know, we don't know. We're definitely releasing the album later this fall. So this is just the EP. We're going to have a uh, 13 or 14 song cut album. So oh, we're going to drop an album. So. Drop. Yeah. <laughs> like it's hot. So, so do uh, it on Tuesday, though. That's when all the big boys do it. Yes, you know, I heard that. And honestly, that's what they say you drop on Tuesday. So I had to come in and do it on Friday because... <laughs> We got to be, oh, you know, backwoods up here. Yeah. So. Get ready for the weekend, man. I ain't got That's time it. to do it on a Tuesday. <laughs> and, you know, Silver's actually, Silver's in town this weekend. We're actually uh, doing a release party in Wilmington uh, tomorrow night at City Limits, and uh, Saturday night we're in Raleigh. Okay. So you ought to come out. You ought to come hang out with us. Y'all are at City Limits yeah, Saturday? Yeah, Silver's yeah. coming. Okay. And uh, I think Marty Ray Project off the album's coming. Uh, you might see Preston from Low Cash, and I think there'll be some people there hanging out with us. So it'll be pretty cool. We're gonna be coming from a Triangle Beach Music Festival, so if we, <laughs> yeah, we can make Do it, you need me to send you a record. <laughs> <laughs> I tow you over, you know. So, yeah, if free. I can find the place, I'll try to get there. Man. I'll drive y'all because I'm coming from Southern Women's Show. I'll be sober. I'll come pick y'all up and we'll go. <laughs> I thought they had wine tasting up there. I can't drink right now. I had the surgery. I can't oh, drink. Yeah, yeah. Did you see her wink? Uh, did you see her wink when she? I, I can't do that. Okay. <laughs> I, I just sip it. I'm only allowed to sip. Right now, so. <laughs> all right. So this uh, this other one that's called "Stay True," is that right? Did I get that right? Yeah, we do. Stay and you true. just play, and that was the one for Amy. No, no "Stay True" is the one about Jesus. Yeah, that's the one that, that was about my past. Give it a little uh, lesson. Yeah, that was that the, one's uh, with Kyle off Matchbox. Yeah, that's actually with Kyle off Matchbox Twenty. He's oh, playing. cool. Yeah. I love Matchbox Twenty. Oh man, that's Kyle, the lead guitarist. <laughs> lead guitarist. He's the one doing all the vocals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to go ahead and. Uh, a peanut butter probably cut to the course. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> That's cow. I like that. Yeah, Kyle, he, he was phenomenal, man. He was really, I'm telling you, the coolest part was some of the people you got to work with. That's so you cool. Know, and I can't, you know, I don't have any plans, you know, of course, I'm not planning on touring or anything because we're so busy as it is, but we're really enjoying doing the music and doing the videos. We got uh, Georgia Boys coming up. Uh, D Thrash is cutting our videos with us with Silver and 
Are the kids going to be in the video or oh, they can't be? One legged duck swimming in a circle. You know I'm going to have my chitlins. <laughs> I got to have my chitlins in the video. Because your little girl is so cute. She looks just like Bobby. She's, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. <laughs> if you need backup dancers, Eric and I are available. Oh, I got hey, it. I could drop it. Y'all are in. <laughs> yeah. Y'all are in. We can put Bob in there dropping it. Yeah. Oh, I, I have to help each other up, but we'll I'm, drop it. <laughs> Tell him him and Bobby can do the underwear commercial in the video. <laughs> no, with their shirts no, off. No. So, when you guys do, have you guys done a video for these yet, or no? We're cutting the. Uh, we're actually cutting two videos in um, uh, June. Uh, okay. D Thrash is coming down, and he's going to do the videos and having to. It's kind of hard because uh, you know Silver's touring with Aldine right now, getting ready to switch over to Paisley. Right. And uh, so his schedule, but I'm going to tell you, he's like a funeral home fan in July. You know, he just <laughs> never stops. Never he's, stops. And I don't want to do it without Silver because right. this, this is inspired by Silver. So and then Silver and Five Star cut all these beats. And, you know, Silver's now, he's the uh, first DJ to ever get signed to a country music deal. Oh, wow. good. He got signed by Sony, and he actually has a syndicated show now where he just does remixes and plays them, and it's phenomenal. Wow. So this is actually Big all time. Silver yeah. stuff, and so it was really great, man. All right, Amy, Ronnie, Lizard Lick Towing, thank you guys for coming in today. I hope we uh, can get your record sales up. You know, so <laughs> and tell them. iTunes tonight, right? iTunes 1201. Yeah, uh, at twelve or two, you can call. You know what? I even send you one of Okay. Nice. <laughs> so what do they? What do they search? They just search just Lizard there, Lick. Search well, you search Lick Life. That's the name of the EP. Uh, Ronnie Shirley to be under our name, and I'm sure that they'll have some Lizard Lick hashtags on it. So, but the EP's called Lick Life, and that's you know. The, the whole the whole album. Yeah, actually. don't want to look for that on on the web. You might find something else. <laughs> yeah, Let's yeah, show you know. So. All right, guys. Thanks so much for coming out.